So bookstore one look a little bit easy, okay? Um, so bookstore one is just to introduce you the concept of the um, simulation. So like I mentioned last time, we can use random number to select um, number to, um, you know, to, to, to assume this is what might happen in reality. So for this one, it's, they actually have the, um, for this one, the, how should I put it away? Okay, here. So for this one, so for bookstore one, click the other tag, the simulation model, because they have more uh, information. So for this one, the demand, they realize from historical data, that's the average is around 200, but there's a standard deviation of 40. So it means that, and that means it's, it's following a normal distribution. So when we see normal distribution, it's usually like the bell curve shape, right? So that means 200, this is the average, this in average, 200%, I mean, when, um, there's 200, um, the demand might be 200 for the calendar. Okay, so here, see, you can see the, oh, wait, oh yeah. So this is a bell curve shape. And then for one standard deviation, we'll add 40. 80, 160. And 80. So if the range is, you know, if you want to be more certain, the range will be become bigger, right? So there's like 99% of chance it will be range from 80 to 320. Okay, so this is the this is that. So if we know something is following the bell curve shape, then we can say we can use the formula. I think is yeah, here, wait. And um, okay, yeah, so this one, norm, distribution. Mm. Let's see if it will show. So we put in the um, average and then we'll put in this. I'm not sure if that, yeah, maybe I, maybe I remember, I remember the, um, or random, random. Uh, sorry, I've, I forgot the, so we have the cheat sheet here. So we can go back to find the simulation here, the document. And then we can um, look at the formula here. So the formula is, it should be, I'll talk about this later. It should be, let me see. Here, oh, risk normal, yeah, risk normal, okay. So we use risk normal, and that means that um, they will run, the, they will pick a random number, but follow the normal distribution, okay? Mean, average 200, and then this is 40. And then they have uh, another formula called round. We will work on the risk normal first, because when we have risk normal, risk, Normal. I want to show you this. What? Right. Hmm. Didn't work. So this is. Let me see if we need to. We probably need to download something new. But I'm not sure if we have that. Let me let me double check. Um, see if they have it here. Nope. 
Yeah, unfortunately, we don't have that. So in theory, this will give us any number. Yeah, I think we don't have that. I, this, is, this is something we have to buy extra. But if we put a round, it just, it will just round, we will just round up the number, okay? So it's just like the formula that we use here to um, round up to, like the decimal point behind this, how many points behind decimal point? So that's a round. That's a formula for round. I actually want to show you that formula, but unfortunately, we don't have the we don't have the um, risk um, under Excel. So um, so sorry about that. Let's let's move on to model to bookstore two. Okay, so. I didn't, I didn't round it. I was, I was just looking at the model. I thought, oh, I should show you guys this. So that's why we like, we have to kind of decide to know what kind of distribution um, different stuff is. So this is normal distribution. Sometimes we will have something look like this. Okay. So this is more like, let's say grade, your grade because fewer people will get less than 60 points, right? So fewer people will be here. And then more majority of people will be maybe around, you know, 80, 90 or, uh, income, okay? Fewer people will be lower income. And then uh, not majority of people will have higher income, but because the very high income here, they tend to make the average higher. So that's why it's this way. So, so that's a different distribution. And when we use simulation, we need to understand what kind of distribution and then we can use that. Okay, so let's go to model two. Sorry about that. Um, model two would be a bookstore two. So bookstore two, um, it's a little bit different because in bookstore two, we um, we don't have a like really normal distribution. If we if I if I draw if I show you this, okay, this is a this is a distribution, okay. So if we draw it, it will be like so. This is 100, 200, 300, 400, and Oh, only 300, 100, 150, 200, 250, and then 300. So it will be something like, let's say here is 30%, and here is 20%, here is another 30%, and then 15%, and 5%. So it doesn't necessarily look like a normal distribution, right? So we can use that formula that we just used. So in this case, we're going to use something I did last week and made a mistake last week, but this time I won't. So here, so we are going to use that, the distribution, the possibility, okay? Use that to tell Excel, pick a random number, and then, because the random number would be between zero and one, any number between zero and one. So we can use that and then the probability is added up to one as well. So we use that to tell Excel to pick, you know, the, from the random table, we pick a number and different number represent different demand. Okay, so the first one has 30% possibility. So we put this one zero. I must, I, I, I remember this wrong before. So this one we put, so for D5, we put a zero, but for D6, it's D5 plus um, F5, 
okay? And then we just kind of drag it down. You don't have, you can, we can, we can just stop here. The reason I drag it here is to, to make sure I did it right. Like this is the last information. So we know this is adding up one to 100%, okay? But this one should be our demand distribution. Yep. Wait, so it's basically here. So D5 is zero. And then the next one will be, you know, whatever the cumulative probability plus the next one. So, um, everybody here already? Okay, good. Yeah, so we are going to um, see, should we name this? Let's put a range name, let's select this, put a range name because we are going to use the formula here and we want to drag it down and we want to keep the table there. So let's just do demand distribution. I'll just do this, demand this. You can put whatever name, but I don't think they allow space or they don't allow, they don't allow like hyphen because it's considered a formula, right? So just do something or um, you can do underscore. So this is my, um, table and then this this is the demand we want to use remember we um i you don't have to follow me in this okay i i, I just want to show you um what does it do so let me insert uh this is called um what insert yeah okay well so i just i just want to show you this so this is just random number okay random random number random number random number so i just do random number so when i do this it means you will select any random number between zero and one okay and then in demand side we are going to use the VLOOKUP, <laughs> VLOOKUP, okay? So it says, look up some value, okay? Look up certain value, and then, and then the second information, and comma, second information is the table, okay? So when we look up some number, and then we are going to tell Excel to look at that table, on the very left column. And then if it fits, so in this case, the value is here, okay? But don't do anything because I just want to show you because we are going to put different stuff. So we are going to select this table. So you see demand this. So we look at this table and Excel will go through E column and see this number is 0.75. So it would be between, it would be 200, right? Demand 200. So we want Excel to look at this number, a random number, and then assign the, this says column index number. So we want to put in the information based on the table. So in this case, it's the second column, right? From the table. So we want Excel to look at the very left and then show us the second color information. Okay, so if you see here, now it changed to 89. So it will go to this column, which is 250. Did you see that? Okay, yep. Okay, here. So this one is VLOOKUP and we look up this number 
don't do anything because I'm going to DDB column B. I'm going to put, I'm going to combine B with C. But I just want to show you how this works. So you see here, now it's 46%, which is here. Okay, 30 to 50% will be 150. Okay, so this is, this is that. And then let's, let me just press F9. See here, 50 is 200. Okay, so now I'm going to DDB. Let me DD this, clear DD. Okay, so now instead of using, um, um, previously we said B19, now we just put in a random number. Okay, just do this. Just say the V lookup will, this function will look up any random number and then it will go back to the table to assign a demand on that particular cell. Okay, so that's that. And then what we can do now is we can just drag it down for 1000 case. And then I'll come back to show you the formula again. So the form, formula, for, formula is this. Can you see, do I need to make it larger? Let me make it, oh, I can't do that. So this is the lookup. But don't forget, you need to select the table and give the table a name first, okay? If you don't, you can put in a dollar sign in front of the tables. And I'm, I want to share this with you guys. I usually bring some snack to the international management class. And this is the most popular snack among American students. So I thought you guys, I don't know, I just want to get more um, get more opinion. And this means good luck. Like can you can you eat this? You you have good luck. <laughs> Let me know if you like it. If you don't like it, also let me know it's okay. I won't be offended. Like I told you, I don't like it. So, and I don't like all of it. Oh, yes. So, it's uh, made of rice. Oh. Yeah. Do you, know, do you like it? Yeah. So, do this first and <laughs> don't get distracted. <laughs> You guys like it? Yeah, usually American students like this. Yeah. Some kind of different spice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like sort of like salty, but but this is what my hometown people like. We like salty, but a little bit sweet. Yeah, so we cook everything with soy sauce and sugar. <laughs> yeah. So are you done with the 1,000 cases? What? <laughs> you are supposed to drag it down oh, to 1,000. So, yeah. 1,000? Yeah. Oh, good. This is the whole um, theory of the simulation. Okay. Oh, I need to pick up this because I don't know if my daughter had bus today. Hello?
Oh, okay. Sorry. So, did you? When did? When? Okay, it just started because when I pick up the phone, I I muted. Okay. So, did you guys? Did you guys do all the demand? One thousand. So now the revenue is. We need to decide. We need to tell Excel to do the right amount of revenue, right amount of you know the quantity we are going to sell, because when demand demand equal to quantity, then there's no issue. But what if demand is smaller than the quantity? What should we do? So what what can we do to um, no? We just use, sorry, we use we use this, okay, B5, B5 times a quantity, but we need to tell Excel which one to pick, either B19 or uh, B9, right? So we use whatever that's smaller amount, okay, whatever smaller amount we have, so we use minimum. So that means the smallest number in this set of value, that's the number they, will, they are going to pick. So we pick um, this one or this one, okay? What else should we be very careful about? So let me, let me do this, let me do this. So see this, if we sell 1,000, I mean, if we sell 100, the demand is 100, we are going to sell 100, right? But let me drag this. So why, why would that be zero and then 20,000? What happened? Why? Let me double click. So see this is here and this moved down. This moved down too. So what should we do in the first, the first sell? What should we do? We need dollar sign, right? In B5, B5, this is B5. And then we also need dollar sign in B9, right? So you can press F4. Or we should put in a range name here. I didn't. We, can, we should put like unit price, order quantity, then we don't need dollar sign. So either way. But based on the readability, we should put range names. I'm just being lazy, you know. Can you click on um, B19? B19 is here. Uh, uh, what do you mean? Like, uh, so I can see the formula again? Oh, okay. So wait, so everybody follow here so far? So B5, B9, you need dollar sign. B19, you don't need dollar sign. So this one formula is here. Yep. The B19, yep. Which one? Yeah, did you do that one? Oh, the random number? Oh. So you need another one here, see this one? Yeah. Yeah. Because you didn't drag it down. Yeah. Once you once you replace this, you need to redo it. Yeah. Okay. So what you do is you can click here, the last one. See it's in the right place, right place, and that's good. If they move, oh, right. it move, So the revenue we so here I have to redo this. So if if I double click, you see here it moved, right? So now since I already fixed this, so let's drag it down to the one thousand case. There's a quick. I think you can click Control and then page down. It will go to the bottom, but um. I just like to do this. Okay, so that's revenue. Uh, 
You shouldn't have zero. So that means you didn't put a dollar sign. You go, go to the last cell, click, see which cell move. Come. I don't know. Let's go. Let's click here. Let's click here. Did you go up? No. Oh, this should be here. That's why. Because you you probably so like. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Try. So the cost is relatively easy. The cost is here. Um, that's the order, order quantity. So that's this one times the cost. But we need to do dollar sign for both. So the cost is boring. Sorry. So zero. Oh. So done. So. Confused about what? No, no. Oh, okay. So cost, cost should be the same. I, I, oh, the cost one? Wait, wait, wait. I try to go up. Okay, here. Um, Oh, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to put dollar sign. Yeah. Done? Everybody follow? Okay, the refund also be so the refund. Um we will get refund when we have leftover, right? Like when we have left calendar that we couldn't sell. So it would be equal to the refund, but sometimes we might not have anything left. So what should we do? Similar to the revenue, but now we are going to check the uh, leftover. We don't know we have leftover. So we will only, oh wait, we will times, uh, let me think, the minimum. Is it, is it minimum? No, maximum. Let me think. Oh, maximum. Maximum of, if we have no leftover, then that's zero. But if the, let me think. The order quantity is greater than the demand, then we, we will have some leftover, right? So we will do um, order quantity minus the demand. So when the order quantity minus demand is smaller than zero, then the refund will be zero because we have nothing left. 
right? They will pick the maxim, the bigger number of zero and whatever left. So here, where should we put dollar sign? Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. So, see, 100, and we buy, we got 200. So we have 100 left, and then each one is $2.50. $2 so we got 250 refund. Yes, because like, yeah, because oh. <laughs> like here, oh, like if you if your demand is bigger than the whatever you order, it will be zero. Yeah. Okay. Here. B nine times B four. Let me let me drag this down first. Sorry. I like this. I enjoy doing this. Oh, really? Right here. Yeah. Okay. I know. Ready? So what's profit? What should be profit? Revenue. Mm -hmm. Minus cost. Yes. Plus refund, right? So the profit pretty straightforward. I made twelve hundred dollars today. Oh, how much? Wow, nice. Yeah. It's more than I made in a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Okay, so everybody follow? Here. So you see some of the cases, if the demand is 100, but we order 200, we lose $250, okay? So this just give us like, Oh, shoot. This just give us a lot of like 1,000 cases so that we, it will help us to make decision. So I just introduced some very simple, um, very simple formula. So like average, we can just type in, it used to be AVE, but now it's average. Okay, so, so just average and then select the whole thing. I'm too lazy, so I just type it in. 18, uh, wait, uh, 1,018 plus 1,000, right? Let me see if I, let me check. You can select it till like 1,000. Oh. It goes to the, sorry, it goes to the other side. <laughs> okay, don't be lazy. Is it 1,018? Yeah, 1,018. So you can put in average F19 to 1018, 10, okay? And then standard deviation used to be STD. So now, now it's, it's yeah, standard deviation. Now they change it to be, I think this one, yeah, this one. Okay, so still F19 to F19 
oops, 10, 18. And then this is just the, the same, you know, we select the number F, F19, two, two, F10, 18. Maximize. Okay, I'll show you. Oops, what did I do? Oh, forgot F. Okay, so standard deviation here. Wait, STD, so the P is the proposition. The, oh, wait, it says the entire population, and this is based on the sample. Yeah, and then this one is based on the sample. And then this is based on population. So some of them are from different versions. See like this, STD EV is the uh, Excel 2000. If, you, if we do STD EV, it will be there. Yeah. Sorry? Mean and max, M-I-N-O-N-M-A-X. So this one, should be mean, and the next one should be max. Mm. If you guys have a friend who had close contact with uh, someone that's confirmed to have COVID and then your friend come visit you, didn't um, wear a mask or did, didn't do anything, would you guys be upset or? Yes. You know? yeah? yeah? Or it's just like cold? What do you guys? If I have to come back wear a mask. Okay. I don't have to. Okay. Yeah, but if your friend show up, didn't wear a mask, and then didn't tell you before your friend got like to in front of you, yeah. will you be yeah. upset? Yeah. <laughs> it's going on. I mean, it's no, 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 not, not. I mean, not, I'm not talking about class. I'm talking about like. Like you are supposed to have dinner with this friend. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Just curious how people. I mean, I don't want to be rude to them, but at the same time, I have to look out for myself. Exactly. So yeah. Put yourself in a bad situation. So, so see, this give us an uh, average profit, but everybody's number will be different because it's based on the simulation. If you press F9, see, my average profit become 199. Oh, man, 189. It was 200. Oh, now this one. So, <laughs> so this just help kind of help us to make decision like, you know, these things could happen. So even though sometimes the proper, it's based on probability, but you know, we never know which one will show up this year. So, but this is just to show us, okay, so, you know, we have how many percent of chance we might lose money, you know, this kind of stuff. 
okay? And then you can also change this, like if you decided to order 150, okay? You see your average profit become higher, but your maximum profit become lower, but you won't lose money based on this. That's weird. Let me, let me do. Wow. So if you order 150, you won't lose money. You just won't make a lot. Okay. So, you know, so, so this, see, this is, this just, you can play with this or we change it to 175. Oh, okay. So 175, we lose money. Or 160. Oh, we lost 50. That's so weird. Oh. Are you refreshing? F9. Yeah. So if I order 120, uh, my average profit will be higher, but the maximum profit will be lower. <laughs> but the standard deviation is much smaller. Okay. So 100 will be definitely, I think it will be zero standard deviation. So no matter what, you will make 250. So, okay. But we want to take risk so we can make 500. But actually, if we take the risk, our average profit is actually less than, you know, if we order only 100 calendar. See, if we only order 100, we'll definitely have 250. Okay, so it just depends on people's tolerance of risk and how greedy you are, right? So let me see 500. No, we don't even have, we have 300. Yeah, so if we have 300, then the maximum profit we are going to make is 750, but we might lose 750 as well. Yeah, so. Let me see if I can get a positive average. See, with the simulation, almost impossible to get positive. Wow, wow. Especially we have a thousand um, cases, okay? So almost impossible, yeah. So any questions? So this is to, you know, like I say, help us to make decision and think about this, okay? And, yep. So, for this example, it's like a book, like we're selling a book, right? Calendar, yeah. So, if it was a digital calendar, would there be any cost? It probably would be a minimum cost, right? Yeah, but then if it's, uh, but then, it well, it depends on how you, how you design it. Because it's funny you mentioned it because I remember, I don't know if you guys received that kind of email like or friends and like, I remember I used to get Excel that people design the calendar in Excel and they, they put a lot of formula in there. So you just basically change the year and they will change everything for you. Like including some years, you'll be February 29. And then they will also so yeah, they, they change all like they can um they're putting all the holidays in there holidays and, the month, and yeah the yeah which day falls on the Friday. Yeah, exactly. So they already they somehow put in the formula like that. But if you design something like that, people can just copy and then yeah, you know it. and and I order I recently just ordered a investment calendar. So they design this calendar where they put all the like inf important news, like Fed is going to announce interest rate on a certain day that they, they all have fit schedule. So they put everything on their calendar for the stock investor. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's useful. And then they also have the e-version, like they have the they have the paper, paper bag, a paper copy. The paper copy they would they would put in some words like, you know, some, oh, actually I have, a, I have a notebook I bought. So they actually, this is not calendar, but 
but they say like if you can't stop thinking about it don't stop working for it mm -hmm. and then trading is the art of taking smart risk and knowing wh when to exit mm -hmm. so they have the words that motivate you yeah. for the calendar yeah so so that that you know that's something i i like so i pay i think i pay 30 dollars for the calendar and because they say it's the it's a calendar bring you good luck. So, yeah. so, so I bought I bought calendar, but yeah, but but if it's E, you have to find out a way to see whether or not people would copy it. Yeah, but if it's a, a E calendar, then yeah. Any other questions? If not, you guys can save and submit it. You should try to you should save whatever you do here, so that. Maybe one day when you apply for jobs and they want you to, they want someone that's good at Excel. And even though you might not feel you are good at it, but at least you have some evidence like, oh, I did this. Show them that you did something. Yeah. So that's why I, um, sometimes I pick something look complicated, but it's when we work on it, it's not that complicated. Yeah. So any other questions? No, then uh, have a great long weekend. We don't have class next Tuesday. Next Tuesday, we follow Monday schedule. So no Tuesday class. Okay, so if you have Monday class, next Tuesday, you need to come, come to school. Okay. So the 11th, we don't have Tuesday? Yeah. No. So next week, the Monday holiday, we have Tuesday off. So all the Tuesday class is canceled, but on Tuesday, whatever you have on Monday, you have to go. It has to follow Monday schedule. So it's called switch day. It's, I think this is the only, that's a like unique thing at ESU. Okay, see you guys. <laughs>